everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today I have the overviews for episode 40 of The Bad Batch and episode 1 and 2 of X-Men 97. And I've got to say, I really enjoyed all three of these episodes of these two shows. So I'm just going to quickly go over all of them now. So starting off with The Bad Batch, because this will be the quickest to go through. Um, it was a um, two-plotted episode, one focusing around Hunter and Wrecker. I'm trying to discover what M count means. As the fans, we know that's midichlorian count, because Omega seems to have quite a high one, which will factor into Palpatine's project, project Necromancer. And the other plot of the episode was Crosshair and Omega trying to figure out what was wrong with Cross... well, what's been wrong with Crosshair's hand. Uh, they're still trying to figure both of those things out currently. And of course, as said, as fans, we know that midichlorian count is the M count. However, the hand thing, we're not sure. But we know that Omega wasn't able to do anything medically. Well, rather, AZ wasn't. So Omega instead tried meditation, which seemed to help a little bit throughout the episode. Now, moving on from that, that was pretty much the episode of The Bad Batch. You know, it was quite a good episode. We had Fennec Shand team up with Hunter and Wrecker to, um, well, to do a job because um, Fennec said she had information for them on the M count, um, and they did a bounty with her, um, brought the the bounty in. However, Fennec said that she didn't have the information herself, but would retrieve it for Hunter and Wrecker, not before ratting them out to somebody. I don't know who, but I expect it's someone to do with the Empire, so... Expect that to be trouble for the Bad Batch next week. Now, X-Men. Oh my god, these episodes were good. I loved them. Now, we started off <clears throat> in the first episode with the X-Men still reeling from the death of Charles Xavier. However, something new has cropped up. Jean is pregnant with Scott's child. Which was absolutely nuts. I did not see that coming at all. Now, this did play quite a big part in the first episode, as, of course, Wolverine used to have quite a big thing for Jean, and, of course, Wolverine was butting heads with Scott a lot, because they were also considering, when the baby came, that they were going to leave. Cyclops and the Phoenix would no longer be members of the X-Men, which is kind of nuts. But that was kind of um, delayed a bit, really. Um, because Scott needed to get the X-Men ready for life after Xavier. Which kinda worked. Until the end of the episode. When Magneto showed up at the X-Men's mansion and said, Oh yeah, by the way, um, Charles Xavier kind of handed me over control of the school in his will, so... Hi! Yeah, Scott was not impressed with that. However... In the second episode, well, actually, we also did meet a new character in the first episode as well, called Ricardo. Or it might have been the second, I don't remember, no, it was the first episode. Um, and he was a new mutant. Um, seems that he has solar powers, which does look, which do look quite cool. Um, I'm hoping he shows up again at some point soon. But he doesn't seem to be around for now. As in the second episode, Magneto was brought in by the UN for a trial... Um, on his crimes against humanity, which some, well, a lot of people weren't happy about the fact that he was even getting a trial, including the Friends of Humanity, the incredibly xenophobic towards mutants organisation from the original show. Um, and in the end, well, um, by the way, uh, Jean had her baby with Rogue delivering it, well, delivering him, I should say, they named him Nathan. And then, at the very end, one of the members of the Friends of Humanity, who called himself the Executioner, a very ominous name, shot Storm with a very suspicious beam, and she could no longer use her powers. And then, at the very end, Beast examined her and said, This might be permanent. And now... Scott and Jean, now that the bait and now that Nathan has come, are leaving. So they're so, so we're two episodes in, and we're already down three X Men. Because by the way, Storm left as well. Y yeah. Mm hmm. This uh, 
this isn't looking good for the X-Men. But I've got to say, these episodes were really good. I cannot wait for next week for the next episode of The Bad Batch and the next episode of X-Men 97. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video on my overview for episodes 40 of The Bad Batch and episodes 1 and 2 of X-Men 97. So please, give the video a like, subscribe to Mine Rocks Hands channel, so link's down in the description, mouse button is down there. Please click both of those and then the bell icons to get both sets of notifications. Comment as well, because why not, and let me know what you thought of these episodes. Um, once you're done that too, please follow me on my social medias. They'll be down in the link tree in the description below. That's going to be Roxanne's website. And lastly, please do share this video with all your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. I'll see you guys tomorrow with my final season thoughts on Halo Season 2. Goodbye!